Hey everybody, welcome to the stream, and today we're playing Simon the Sorcerer, the first of the, of the Simon the Sorcerer series, which has, uh, I think, there were five games in the series, and I've only played uh, Simon 1 all the way through, I finished this one, I played number 2, but I haven't finished it yet, I, I think I got stuck somewhere and then, then stopped, I uh, might as well start over at this point. I played some of 3, which I, and I also didn't finish, and it was very different from 1 and 2, so it wasn't quite all that good. And from what I hear, uh, number 4 and 5 aren't quite, quite as good either. And there, there was an attempt to make a num uh, Simon the Sorcerer 6, but uh, unfortunately the development was, was suspended. They, they, even were, they were even going to get the same voice actor back, but unfortunately it didn't work out. So yeah, this is one of those series that has had a troubled, uh, troubled history, but I think the first and the second are, are still, I think, the better ones. So th these Simon the Sorcerer and Simon the Sorcerer 2 are the, are the ones that I would, I would recommend. So yeah, actually the first time I, I, I saw this game was in a, a demo of my, when I, the CD for my Return to Zork, because it was published by Activision, which had per purchased Infocom back in the day. Infocom was the company that developed the Zork game, so they just included a demo of, or, of Simon the Sorcerer in, in Return to Zork. So that's when I, that's how I first knew about this series. And so much later, I, I got uh, my hands on a, an actual version, even uh, uh, one with the vo all the voice acting. And so I was able to, to finish this. But yes, even though I have finished this game, it's been so many years that uh, I will. I'll, I'll have, I've already forgotten all the solutions, so it would would, would be kind of like uh, doing a blind blind playthrough right now. I'll, I'll, I might I might get stuck at some points or something. So yeah, if you if you enjoy games like uh, if you enjoy point and click adventure like Monkey Island, or Monkey Island, or the Lucas Arts games, this one is very very similar to that. Those ones very humorous. <clears throat> this was actually based on it, kind of similar to the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett, because the developers of this game, uh, Adventure Soft, they wanted to, they actually wanted to make a, a Discworld game, but they couldn't get the license, so they instead they wanted to uh, make the, they wanted, they just they decided to create their own their own uh, series. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> okay. Adventure Soft presents For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. <laughs> Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Yep, that's, that's Simon. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. You. <laughs> Let me try that again. The wand never fails. Apparently that uh, voice I'm getting actor... the idea. And now for my next trick. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you oh, well, part in back to the old drawing board. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. Chris Barry. I can't believe you've watched this far. I would have skipped through it by now. No, I don't like skipping introductions. <laughs> I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. Mm. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. Okay. <laughs> and now, for all you traditionalists... 
Knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. The woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. The manual for this game is pretty funny too. I read it. <laughs> so there was a Simon Woodruff and Trisha Woodruff and a John Woodruff and a family <coughs> involved in the business. <laughs> This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. Hey, that's not nice. But yeah, that voice actor was Rimmer. So that's Red where Dwarf. you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. Mm. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward mm. to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. It's not a dream. look at so yeah if, if, as you can see the the interface is very similar to monkey island with, the, with those older adventure games where you had to select the verb and then apply it to an object <laughs> kind, of, kind of reminds you of the text adventures except instead of typing out the commands you just clicked on on, on the verb which is actually much much uh, easier because you, you don't have to guess what commands are available. <laughs> you can just already you, because of one. I remember when I first played the first Zork, one of the problems I had playing that uh, there was a command that I had to use that I didn't know I could use. But this one, I, I can just look. Uh, I can just look at all my available commands. And this this game also has this feature where. Where if you press F10, look at that, it highlights all the interactable objects. 
You no, know, no pixel hunting in this game. You don't have to look, go around uh, uh, w moving the mouse all, all over the screen just, just to check what what you can do, what you can't do. Let's see. Let's check out this fridge. He said he wanted a pizza bar. Maybe he's hungry. You wouldn't expect to see one of those here. Well, yeah, fridge in a, in a medieval fantasy world. The door appears to be stuck shut. Ah, oh, because of maybe the magnet? By picking up the magnet. Huh. Okay, I have a magnet now. Can I open it? The door no. appears to be stuck shut. Okay, it wasn't the magnet closing the door. The doggy. It's my little dog, Chippy. Chippy, cute name. Uh, sorry, I have these items here with the Calypso's note, the one he just read. You have a, a postcard that I can use to... That's the main menu of the game. Load, save, quit, continue. And you have... I have this... I have this map, which is allows me to fast travel. I can just... Look around. Uh, village. As I, as I move through the game, the more more items will be available. Uh, what else? There's a drawer here. Let me check what's inside. Oh, look! There's a pair of scissors in here. Okay. Pick it up. Might as well. In these adventure games, everything that's not nailed down, you, you have to pick up. <laughs> Might be useful someday. Wizard stuff. It must be Calypso's junk. What else? Mystic tapestry. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. Hmm. Okay, I think we can. I think we can go. We already. I, I'm not. I don't think I can pick up wizard stuff. It's just random stuff. What would I want with that pile of junk? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Go outside. Explore this this new world we're in. Yeah, this is actually like uh, one of those isekai animes. He was just a regular teenage boy that was in, at home and suddenly he was transported to a magical world. <laughs> very, very typical of, of these kind of R RPG, apparently. The Ultima series was also like that. Uh, behind Cottage behind the cottage. You, compost. A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. Hmm. Okay. Nothing else then, I guess. Yeah, if you if you see these little flashing lights, that's because I'm checking to see what I can interact with. Yeah, I really like this this game. I haven't finished. I finished this game, but it was a long time ago, so I, I don't remember any of the solutions. So this might as well be a, a blind run. Uh, and I did play a bit of the second one, but I haven't finished it yet. I might might play the second one on stream as well. Let's see. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Slight retrofusion. <laughs> Muscular. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to him. Talk Good to morning. Him. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. Hmm. Okay. Can I open this door? Open. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked by this bar, but maybe maybe I can't lift it. Metal bar from inside a bell. Can I, can I pick it up? You won't mind, I guess. Yeah, in these adventure games, you don't have to worry about stealing anything. 
not like not like it has a there's a karma meter or something hey man heavy metal okay <laughs> what is rope oh ropes are always useful in adventure games no one will miss this old thing his inventory is in his hat so I guess there's context for him being able to carry anything. It's a magic hat, so it makes sense that you'd be able to fit anything inside. <laughs> Keep walking. Hello. <laughs> I think this is a stock sound effect for a duck quacking, because I've heard that same sound in a lot of games. Dodgy geezer? <laughs> A shifty looking bloke selling bric a brac. Bric a brac? What about this? I wonder why there's no graffiti on it. A statue. Okay, I'll talk to this guy. You interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grow. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for gold piece? How can you sell priceless antiques for so little? Have you got any hint books for this game? Oh yeah, there's a lot of lot of fourth wall breaking in this game. Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry, sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots Dang of it. other stuff though. Okay. How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. Mm. Let's have a look then. Anything on the mat is yours for only one gold piece. See anything? What? Takes your fancy? Not really. Have stuff? you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. Strength potion? Genuine, long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um... Alright, five gold pieces. Well... Three gold pieces then? But that's the last I go. What do you say? Yeah, after I've changed I, my I don't mind actually have any money. Stuff. Any money so. That was the last of it anyway. Do you see anything else interest you? No, all the rest no, is junk. All the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? <laughs> okay, can I walk here and over here? I love wagon wheels. I doubt I can pick it up, but... It's too big for me. Yeah. Oh. Huh, cute house. A beehive over there. Cats or bunnies, I think. Yeah, are they... Are they rabbits or cats? Chocolate truffle door. This must be an extremely low budget candy house. Extremely low budget candy house? I'm not going too close. Okay. Well, right now I'm just exploring, so I'm just making note of what items are in. Where, where, so I can try and remember where they are. If I ever need, an, if I ever needs a beer, I know, I know where I can find one. Okay, 
Okay, this looks like I'm leaving the village, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it this for last. Let me check the rest. It's a sturdy wooden door. The asparagus okay. jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay, but I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet, please? No. I'll remember this, you know. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll talk to either one of those heads. Was it you that put the organic soup here? It goes... Excuse me. <laughs> How can I help you? No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me. 30%. Uh, 40. 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Uh, is this some sort of freak show? I don't want to be rude. Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? What is the square root of 1,369? Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I happen to know. Uh, where's... Where's the door? Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. Okay. What's the square root of 1369? 37. Oh, you're good at math. What do you, about, what do you know about What sorted? do you know about sordid? He likes jellied anchovies. And perfume bath salts. Anything else? Uh, where's, the door? where's the door? No need to be rude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what, what can I interact? Whoa! A lot of stuff to, to check here. Barrels. Cake. They are sacks full of rice. They are wooden barrels. It's a storage bin for beans. beans it's a storage bin corn. for flour. It's a storage bin for corn. They are bleach, detergent, washing powder and window cleaner. It reminds me of when I was a lad. Sweeties. They are all mushy romantic novels. Okay. They are non-stick Teflon cooking implements. It's an antique wooden cuckoo clock. Hey, what else? What's this? They are squares of chocolate cake. Hmm. Can I pick up one? I would like to buy this. They're a special order. Ah, come on. I, I would like this. to buy this. That's a special order. Can I buy anything? I would like to buy this. I can't sell you them. I like them too much. What? Okay, what about... Uh, the I would like to buy this. I can't sell it. It's a family heirloom. Okay. Hammer. I could use a hammer. I would like to buy this. That will be two gold pieces. Uh, that's, that's extortion. That's extortion. Right? Forget it. Okay, I don't have any money anyway, so might as well. But I get, I get a feeling I'll need that hammer at some point.
is a Apparently the pub? place is called the Drunken Druid. Drunken Druid. Okay. Hang on, let me just check and see what else is this way. Ah, I just looped looped back to the to the blacksmith. Okay. Out of it. Root machine. I wonder what this is doing here. This is like a, a slot machine. Can I use it? I haven't got any quarters. Yeah, okay. New bio Valkyrie. <laughs> Looking, I'm looking. <laughs> a jolly looking barman. Yeah, very jolly. Talk to Good them. morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. It's a fine establishment. Incidentally, you have here. it's a fine establishment you have here. I'm very proud of the drunken druid. It's my pride and joy. People come from the whole village to raise a jar in here. I've got a reputation of fine service and even finer ales. Business is especially good at the moment, though, because of some guy called Sordid. Really? How, how is Sordid helping to boost business? How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service, all of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is, though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about, personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. Okay. I come from another dimension. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. Okay. Make mine a wet wizard? I quite fancy a drink now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Hmm. The beer barrels which the barman is serving beer from. Where is it? It was never designed to be opened. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? I'm getting the feeling that I'm going to have to try and get something while he's down there. You talk a lot, don't you? I'm a bartender. The punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me. Okay. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. Okay, can I talk to the, the Valkyries? Hello. What do you want, boy? Uh, so, uh, you come so, here often? Do you come here often? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here! Oh, shut down. Uh, you two would look great in my next movie. Uh, kind of weak, kind of rude. I'm doing a sur survey for Warrior Weekly. Would you care to take part? Hi, I'm doing a survey for Warrior Weekly. Would you care to take part? Okay, then. Uh, would you like to slip into something more comfortable? What are your measurements? <laughs> Do you know anything about the evil wizard Sordid? That's why we're here, actually. We've journeyed from the far northern steppes to battle with him, through the perilous wastelands of Kring, pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgie the Merciless, across the plains of death, fields of doom 
where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We're now preparing to attack the sorcerer's tower and save the world. Again! You're not married, are you? No. Okay, what are your What are your measurements? I'm a 38, 22, 34. And I'm 36, 24, 34. Okay, I guess they... What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? I like killing things and drinking yeah. a lot. And I like needlework and decorative embroidery. And mm -hmm. killing things and drinking a lot. Don't you get a little cold during the Don't winter? Don't you get a little cold during the winter? We just move around a lot, if you know what we mean. Uh, okay. Okay, we know. How are you are planning you? on getting into the tower? Well, brute force has never failed us in the past. But if that fails, then we've heard that the druid may be able to help. We can't find him. Anywhere, though. The druid, eh? Have you always wanted to be barbarians? I killed my first goblin when I was four. And we liberated our first city when we were seven. Whoa. How many heroic deeds have you so done? So how many heroic deeds have you done, then? We're second in the barbarian tag team, first division. And still in the running for the dismembered orc trophy. Remember to work, trope. Where do you, get, you your get your armor? Battle Dwarf Forge in Northgate. We've never been disappointed. Hmm. Ah, come on. Uh, okay, no more, no more questions. questions, ladies. See ya. You'd better give us a good review. Or else. Phew, it's awfully hot in here. Talking to this guy. I wouldn't want to wake him. Ah, he's sleeping. I thought he was just uh, drunk or old or something. Matches. Uh, matches have seen sounds useful as well. So. Always useful for uh, lighting lanterns and stuff. Check out, check out this this room. Here. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a wind. What you do is tie it on with a piece of string. It rubs against your chin, though. It I'll can give you a nasty voice. rash. <laughs> so the prevailing wind is north, yes? Oh, not at this time. If they think they're disguised as yokels. East is far more likely. But in the game, it's not. Let me save them, since I That's made a lot stupid, of if you ask me. Okay, let's not talk to these wizards. Excuse me. Yes, boy. Uh, I'm looking for some wizards. You know where I can find some? I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some? I bain't be seeing any round these parts, like. We be really? us humble farmers who are. Who are, that be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean, like. Really? Are you sure you're you not sure wizards? sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk, born in wholemeal bread, who are. Are you <clears throat> saying we be fakes, like? Press X to doubt. Uh. No, of course not. Good, like. Our disguises are far too cl- Who are? Aha! What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? You have awful accents. <laughs> when I m move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Lipso told me to look for four wizards disguised as country buckets. When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguises off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I, I 
want to be a wizard, but... What do you know about Calypso? What do you know about Calypso? We will not impart such information to you, a non-wizard. Stop wasting our time. Okay. Where did this game come from any- Listen to me for a second. Yes, bye? Apparently they won't talk to me unless I'm a wizard, so... Uh, I wanna be a <laughs> Make me a wizard or I'll cry. No, I wanna, I wanna be, a, be wizard. a wizard. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. I'm not old enough. Where did you say we were? Listen to me for a second. Yes, bye. I'll do anything. I'll do to be anything a to be a wizard. Anything. Anything. Well, you could do us a little favor. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey? Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely Questing interested coming. in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical staff rumored to be hidden in this area. And we would staff. like you to find it for us. Hmm. Okay, what, what does the staff does look this like? What does the staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. Okay. And then I get and made a wizard? And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Okay. So any, any idea where it is? Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky type, those necromancers. Always messing about with embalming fluid and giblets. Type fisted sod was probably buried with it. No problem. Okay. We look forward to your return. Right, have okay. we twitted the sparrows we have yet? Our, we have our quest. I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh, uh what's his name? You know, the short man. Here we go. Said that was very important. Yes, and sometimes it's not clear exactly where I can go on the screen, which are, where are the exits. Okay, I guess I'll look around, let's see. What can I do with the items that I have? have any money so I I wouldn't be able to buy anything from this guy or oh, I can leave the, the village actually I said I'd leave this for last so might as well take a, a walk around the place How about this ladder can I pick it up and put it somewhere oh I can pick it up apparently <laughs> okay Like I said, the magic hat. That's that's the explanation for how he can f fit stuff. Uh, can I open this door? It's locked. Okay. Can I eat the door? I could never get through all that. Okay. Hmm. I doubt I can pick up the beehive, but might as well give it a shot. It's too big for me. Yeah. Okay, then I can go. Wait. Uh, can I go inside this house? Oh, I can. Suspicious herbs? Herbs? I can't reach them! Okay. Uh, specimen jar. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. Hmm. The MXA goes. Thanks for watching so far. Hope you had fun. Maybe I can use a, a jar to grab, get, catch a bee, like like Link in, in Zelda. 
<laughs> Moosehead. It's a papier mache moosehead. Paper mache moosehead. Moosehead. I pick it up. It's too big for me. Old remedy. Could be useful. Okay. Just raiding this this person's house and all <laughs> as you do. Okay, let's see. Can I... no? I don't. I don't think I can get grab a bee actually because. The B wasn't selectable, it was just beehive. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. But it is for invertebrates. Let me try. You just give it a shot. That doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I'm, I get a feeling that we are going to hear that doesn't work a lot, a lot during the course of this game. Yeah, we already collected a bunch of inventory items, so we got a lot of. of... Huh. I think we yeah, we can actually sell something to him. One of the options when talking to him was about was about uh, maybe trying to sell him something. So maybe we can get him to give us money for us to buy with, uh, with uh, the shop to use on the shop. Hmm. Well, let's explore outside first. I want to try selling him every every one of these items first. Ooh, jolly music there. Like I, like I said before, a very cute backgrounds. Actually, I think this was yeah the demo that I first played when I when I first played this game. It was in a demo that came with my Return to Zork CD. So. And I remember it was this area. Okay, it looks like a lot of different paths here. Path down? Yeah. There's a path over here and another down. Oh dear, it looks like we can get lost very easily. Huh. Wise Owl. He doesn't look very wise. Huh. Well, the game, the game says he is wise, so let's talk. Excuse me, uh, boy. Hello. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, uh, I can't quite remember. Uh, never mind. Right. You can't remember. What? Uh. Okay. Very low voice, I could barely hear him. Oh well. Can I go here? Okay, so I think this is just a straight path. I pay attention to where where I can go so I don't get lost here. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, four options. And lots of places. Table used for the sacrificing of shaved lions. <laughs> the Narnia reference. Okay. Nothing else here, I guess. Go back to that. That. Oh. Go grabbing a lizard. Bird. A bird grabbing a lizard. Go back to that uh, fork, four-way path option. Yeah, 
Yeah, by the way, if, if you, any of you have uh, uh, any suggestions of what to do, uh, I'm, I'm open to... What? I'm open to hear any suggestions if I'm stuck. Is this a, a construction site? It says, Caution, Paleontological Dig in Process. Paleontological Dig? I go inside the hole? There's a strange man digging down there. Strange man digging. Uh, can I use my ladder to climb down? That doesn't work. No? That ladder doesn't before. work. Okay. And I talk to, to the strange man. Hello? The Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Nobody's here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this? Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? Uh... Are you fixing a gas leak? I don't think there are gas pipes in this world, but... You're fixing a gas leak? No, I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Famous who? Of course, that renowned digger of deep holes. The famous who? Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. Okay. You mean Dan Quayle? You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Uh, as a matter, as matter, of, fact, matter of fact, I haven't. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Okay, I guess if I see any fossils, I'll, I'll let, him, let this guy know. Hmm. Dwarf mine. Oh, this is... Yeah, very... Very open game, I mean, a very lots of places where you can go right away. Oh. Extremely large and daunting doors. Can I open? I think you have to open them from the inside. Ah. Uh, anything else? Ah. Paper. There's a piece of paper under this rock. Oh, under the rock, right? So, yeah, that doesn't look like paper. Okay, what does it say? It's, it's a shopping it's a shop. list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Oh, I guess I can go take this to the, the shopkeeper. Maybe he'll give me the, the amount or whatever it's in on this list. Kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? It's a bunch of mushrooms. Two eyes and a nose and a mouth. Yeah, ever since I, I remember this area from the demo, I, I always thought this could look like a weird face. Kind of look like a face too. Yes. Check the dwarf mine. Oi, dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Course you are. Now sod off. We'll taste a sharp end of my spear. Nice people. Apparently, dwarves only. Uh, okay, go up, up here. I'm gonna be gonna gonna be hard keeping track. Gonna be hard tr keeping track of where everything is in this game. Hmm. Cave entrance. Hey. Okay. Check it out. Actually, before we explore any further, let me save again. Use postcard, save. Hmm. Swamp.
actually don't remember if this game has any fail states or if you can die or, or do like lose an item or something. So I have to be careful with Oh. An icy area. Oh well, let's let's check out the house first. Yeah, looks like I'm right now. I'm just doing a lot of exploring. I haven't even had to solve any puzzles yet. It's a door set into an old tree. I'd better knock. Hello. Anyone home? Little lizard person. Hello. Anybody home? Hello? Uh -huh. Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Are you some sort of boogie person? Don't half pong in here? Don't, don't get this. Uh, actually, I think I got the well, wrong house. Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought oh. you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Oh, don't cry. I'm not surprised. It's, I'd rather visit a warm cesspit. Uh, I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm on an important quest. It's your birthday? It's your birthday? It is! Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew, and I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being late, though. Everyone else is. I think your costume's really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. Okay, sure. Sit around for some birthday stew. A little bit. Just make they make this little guy happy, I guess. Hang on, I didn't agree to Friend! I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swamplin to swamplin for generations. Uh What's in this what's stuff? In this stuff? Ancient secret recipe. Can't tell secret ingredients. Set one. Swamp mud. Very important ingredient. Mud. mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes swamplings cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> uh. Um... Okay, I guess if it makes you happy, I'll eat your If stew. it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Good day! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra okay. woodlouse works well. Ooh. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. Uh -uh. I think I hear someone. You, you get to eat it, not me. <laughs> Arrived. No one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friends. Uh. Please have mercy. No, no more, more for me. me, thanks. I'm stuffed. It's good for you. Oh no. Oh dear. 
Uh, okay, uh... Um, I don't think I can do anything with this right now. Okay, maybe I can just leave? Oh, he's distracted. Phew. That was a lucky escape. <laughs> Yeah, before we go to the snowy area, let's continue exploring the rest of the forest. <laughs> and once we're done with the forest, I guess I'll try see if this giving the shopping list to the two-headed shopkeeper helps does anything yeah, very, very pretty areas oh, hello I'll be the laughing stock of the guild uh, what's wrong excuse me yeah Down on your luck, Down mate. on your luck, mate. Very observant. Mm. Tell me what ails you, woodcutting Tell person. Tell me of what ails you, woodcutting person. It's not worth it. I may as well accept the future fate has planned for me. My life is in ruins. Uh. You just gotta take the rough with the you smooth. You just gotta take the rough with the smooth. In my case, I just have to take the rough with the rougher. What did I do to deserve this? What exactly, what is, exactly the problem? is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard oh. brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. How can a tree be a problem? I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Yeah, but how can a tree be a how problem? How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. What's so special What's about so these trees? What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Hmm. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. But why don't you just buy a magical why axe? Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. <laughs> Harder than diamond? Okay, I'll keep an eye out for some I'll for you. I'll keep an eye out for some for you. Then you'll be looking for a long time. It's incredibly rare, and I don't know anyone that's ever seen any. Yeah, I'm betting there's some in the dwarf mine, yeah. Have you tried the dwarves? Have you tried the dwarves? If you want mithril, dwarves is fine. But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. When I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. Uh, can I have the metal detector? What's a metal detector doing in this dimension? What's a metal detector doing in this dimension? What are you doing in this dimension? Working for the good of the people. This metal detector's detecting metal. Why don't you take it and look around for some Melrith? You couldn't do any worse than me. Okay. Okay, I guess I have some metal detector. I don't. I'll have to sell everything. Okay. I should have known this would happen. Actually, I think I remember using this at some point to try and find something buried. Another thing that looks like a, a face. Look at this. Someone 
some fishing down there. I'm guessing this ladder will be used to reach something high, not climb down some. Maybe at the rope, if I can tie it somewhere. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything to tie it to. Hmm. Yeah, I bet I'm betting Why there's maybe an, another to path mother? to reach the bottom of that gorge. Back to that four way path. Still a lot we haven't explored yet. <laughs> Please. Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? Uh, just start by never breathing again. Oh dear. What the hell is that? What the thing? hell is that thing? That thing is a sousaphone. It's a musical instrument. You could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? What I heard didn't sound too musical to me. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Hmm. I wonder what we'll have to do with you. And I, I, I do believe I... Uh, you need that, but... Ow! Not sure. Uh... Ow, Hello? ow, ow! My foot! Can you help me, boy? Uh... I'm not coming. You, you look dangerous. What appears to be the problem? What appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Yeah, very convenient. I have to try and keep in mind uh, every, everything I've collected so far. Oh, we loop back to where we started. Okay, like this. Hear something? Hmm. Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. Huh? I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. I 
There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Uh, I was talking to a player, not you. I'm sorry, I just... Just that I've never seen a talking stump before. Sorry, but it's just that I've never seen a talking stump before. Ho, ho, ho! A talking stump, he says. Who ever heard of a talking stump? I can't imagine how such a ludicrous thought came into my head. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not? Trying to build yourself up again or something? I refuse to utter uh, I refuse utterly to acknowledge that I'm talking to a tree stump. I refuse utterly to acknowledge that I am talking to a tree stump. Hey? You're not talking to a tree stump. We're woodworm! That's why we want wood! We're bloody starving! This stump's just about had it! Ah. I didn't realize you were a woodworm. Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? Well... Uh... I didn't expect talking to a woodworm, if that's what you mean. I didn't expect talking woodworm, if that's what you mean. No one expects the talking woodworm. That's such a typical attitude of humanity in general. You just presume that we can't talk. You don't bother actually trying to speak to us. That's racism for you, though. Pure bloody-minded racism. I'm sorry. Woodworm just don't talk where I come from. I'm sorry, but woodworm just don't talk where I come from. And where's that, eh? Bloody posh in the town, I'll bet. You lot haven't got any time for a lowly woodworm. I've got a wife and 37 kids, you know. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up I'm to you? I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Cheek, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate. Or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I'd still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. Okay, uh... Just saw a bunch of woodworm. We heard a bunch of woodworms fighting him about wood. Uh, I'll just go get some. I'll then. just go and get some then. You won't regret this, you know. Okay, now if I find any mahogany, I'll give him give to this, these hungry woodworms. Okay, there's a path down here, another over here. Can I have? Hard to keep track of where I've been and where I have left to go. I think there are two more paths besides the snowy area. Oh. Hello. What's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> Then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well, be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say 
very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now, come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Uh, okay. I'll go and get the biggest gruff brother. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Okay, uh, you've made your point. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Yeah. Protesting bridge troll Look, here. Let's be reasonable about this. Top of the morning to you, troll. You spelled rights wrong on your placard. Okay, what appears to be the problem here? What appears to be the problem here? I demand satisfaction, and until I get it, no one may cross the bridge. Uh, <laughs> lucky for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. <laughs> okay, what, what do you what want? What do you want? I told you, satisfaction. Whatever that is. Uh, why are you unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. Uh, why don't you just eat these two now? I mean, how do you like your goats? do with some meat on your bones? Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know? Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... <laughs> okay. Scared of a billy You're scared of a billy goat? This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll go get some goat for you, I guess. Fine, I'll go get some goat for you, okay? Okay, hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Uh, it's a magic whistle. It's yeah. a magic whistle. Magic, eh? Give it here. What? Oh, that's... Hey, huh. that's the one... I did a lot. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Shouldn't have done that. Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty-ho. <laughs> oh. You've been picking on my friend? No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. <laughs> Everything okay now? What you yeah, get for being thanks here? a lot. See ya. The 
goats just... I guess I solved the goats' problem. What about this black placard? It says, equal rights for trolls on it. Can I pick it up? Not sure what, what I'll be using that for, but if I can pick it up, that means it will have some use at some point. Uh, let's see what's over here. Ah, this guy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this forest is like a maze. Very intelligent. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? Uh. <laughs> what beans? What beans? Magic beans. I've swapped them for a cow with a peddler. He said they were magic beans and would lead to fortune and glory. And? Mm. I planted them there, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them, I guess. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. Actually, I... And if you're lucky, I'll split the fame and fortune with you. Okay, I suppose if I... If I have any water, I, I can... Use it to help these this guy's magic beans grow. Yeah, I'm meeting a lot of people with different... Each one of their... Each one of different problems. I'm gonna have to keep track of... Everyone and what what everyone wanted. Another place. Uh, have we been here before? A couple of these paths look very similar. Uh, oh, I guess this is indeed more faces. Look at this. Eyes over here. My faces everywhere in this game. I guess this is the bridge or the other side. Uh, wait, have I gone? I think I've never been here before. Uh, okay, what about up there? I think I came from here. Yeah, I came down here. Wait, yeah. Alright, can I go there? Oh, so I guess this isn't a path. Hmm. Let me go. Let me check the, the those that rocky entrance. Good thing I have a, that map that acts as fast travel. So if I need to go come back to the bridge, the village, I can just click on it and, uh, instead of having to find my way around this place again. Oh, it is another one. So the whoa. Oh, hey, a bell. I, I happen to have a clapper. It's a shiny metal bell. I bet, I bet it's missing a clapper. 
Yep. Use Piper on Bell. Okay, now you move the bell, use the bell. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. Oh, Rapunzel's tower. Who put the lights out? Uh. Okay, and I'm stuck in my hat. Climb the hair, use hair. Wicked witch would that be? I've come to rescue you. I've sweet come to lady. rescue you, sweet lady. You're not the first. The witch caught the rest of them and turned them into meat pate. Meat pate? Yuck. I don't like the sound of this witch person. I don't like the sound of this witch person. You wouldn't like the look of her either. Not that you would have much time to admire. Uh, who is this wicked witch? Just who is this wicked witch? The wicked witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted piglet. my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My God! Ooh. Everyone Yikes. makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is um. where I come in, I feel. Fear not! Your savior is here! Okay, I guess. What did I do to deserve this? Okay. And I just put it in. I have a pig in my hat now. Repulsor. Uh, okay. Move this screen. Behind. I don't see the point. Here, four boards. May I open? Ooh. It was never designed to be opened. They're fixed down. Solid looking wooden floorboards. Why are they selectable? Kind of weird. They're fixed down. Okay. I guess I have nothing else for me to do here. I'll climb down. Ooh, strange. Maybe. Oh, maybe it. The floorboards are mahogany, and I can give them to the woodworm, I suppose. If I find some way to pry them open. Okay, I guess only a couple more areas to explore. the other side of mm. uh, What was this? Vines? They 
lead down into the gorge. Okay, can I find the dump? Uh, this is the, the guy fishing that he saw from above. Uh, hello, Dolan. Wait, what? excuse me. Yes, don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbits. Nice hobbits is what? <laughs> I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. <laughs> I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tokyo Appreciation Society. The, the what? Who's Tolkien? Tolkien? What? What did you say? Sorry, hmm. I didn't mean to. Tolkien <laughs> is the greatest author ever to draw breath. Surely you've heard of Lord of the Finger Ornaments. Uh, Lord of the what about the short ornaments? man with the hairy feet? Oh, that Tolkien. Short man with the I knew feet. you must have heard of him. I'm dressed as Gollum. I hope this is what Tolkien envisioned when he thought him up. Oh, it's a costume. Uh, I'm I've come rest, uh, dressed as that wizard bloke. I've come dressed as that wizard bloke. Well, since you were the last to arrive, you can help me get dinner. Uh. Why don't you just dial a Why pizza? Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cave's not on the phone. Oh, right. Huh. What do you do at these meetings? What do you do at these meetings? We talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book. Hence the costume. Ah. Okay, uh, happy hunting. Happy I hunting guess. then. See ya. Thanks. We meet a we met a Tokian fanboy, I guess. Dressed as Gollum and fishing. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not going here. in there. My mummy told me not to party with strangers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I probably won't finish this in, in on this stream, but it's going to be hard coming back here later and remembering where everything is and who who I talked to and what what they. I needed what they asked. Uh, hang on, let me go back to the beginning because I remember there was one more path. Uh, use map. Okay, center of the forest, troll bridge, owl tree, village, crossroads. Well, explored a lot of, of the map already, and we still haven't been to the snowy area. Let's let's first go back to the village. There's one more path that I I think we haven't been to yet. I think it was up going up here and then down. We just we just want to check where this leads. Yeah. Another path that I didn't notice before. Hmm. I guess this is a crossroads. Yeah, I think we're done exploring this forest. So there's yeah, there's a snowy area, and then there's. Not, don't remember any other path that we missed. Okay, let let's go back to the shopkeeper and try using that this shopping list. A lot of items. Met a bunch of different weird weird different characters. Still haven't found the staff that the wizard. The asparagus jelly goes wanted. here with all the other jellies. Uh, yeah, I, I disagree. Give. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. Excuse me. Not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. Making what up? Okay. 
I guess. I guess they're going to leave something outside after after a while, maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I haven't seen anything where I need to climb up so far. I, I mean, I'm. Pretty sure. Oh, hang on. There was that. There was that. There was that room with the herbs that I couldn't reach. Maybe I can use the ladder inside. Over here. Give it a shot. Use ladder on uh, herbs. That doesn't work. No, okay. Uh, never mind then. Uh, scissors. No. Got that doesn't scissors. work. We got a lot of items so far and made a little, quite a lot of progress. Hmm. Hang on, let me check just. Uh, I don't see anything here that would. Maybe I. Yeah, I don't see anything here that I'd be able to I'd sell to this guy. stop for now the connections been a little a little too uncooperative might as well try continuing this another time but yeah if you if you manage to still be watching thank because due to this all this connection I guess thank you for uh, hanging around so far not been the very best of my of my streaming but thankfully I made a local recording so if you're watching this maybe you're watching the uploaded version that I I edited yeah I'm about to welcome back Umbra but I, I think I'm about to, to leave I, I did a bunch of walking around I haven't actually I guess I haven't actually solved any difficult puzzles yet but did a bunch of walking around met a lot of weird people and got a lot of items so I did a lot of progress. I made a lot of progress, but this connection keeps wobbling and not worth to keep going like this. We'll hopefully, we'll be coming back to this game in a couple of weeks. Next week, I'll, I'll tomorrow I'll play some Cadence or I'll try to play some Cadence of Hyrule. Next Tuesday, we'll be going coming back to Zork Grand Inquisitor. And next two weeks from now, I'll coming back. I'll be coming back to this game. See. See if I can keep track of, of everything I got and all the all the items and all the NPCs and different characters I met and try and remember and see if I can solve their, their all their individual problems. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you hope you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.